Greetings, Scripture here, and this is Raid Shadow Legends free to play account continuation after Hal Hades uh, challenge for 2024. Okay, guys, so I got a very important tip for you um, to progress in this game even faster. And uh, luckily, today I even had the uh, possibility to have a chat with JSF. So, if you don't know him, he, he won this uh, challenge for this year. And we've been chatting about uh, yeah one thing uh, that can help you a lot uh, to getting your uh, account even stronger. But uh, let's start from the beginning. Uh, so <clears throat> uh, my clan boss uh, is sorted at some point. So this is also one of the mine priority for each account to have ultra nightmare or maybe even if you are earlier nightmare sorted to get those uh, shards and, and books so yesterday or maybe even today I managed to uh, reach uh, top chest in free keys which is super I'd say so that's fine I hope this will continue yeah, and I got even my first sacred uh, from that, which is perfect. So we'll need those resources for next upcoming, upcoming uh, fusion, uh, which will be very good uh, for this account, but this is topic for another episode. Um, so let's back to today. So if that's sorted, uh, because clan boss is a very good source of resources, also Doom Tower, Mm, on my account this is more or less also sorted uh, at some point because I'm able to reach uh, some decent level on hard uh, which was that 100 probably yeah almost 100 um, yeah it's, it's good enough uh, so I hope in the next rotation we'll go a little bit further uh, so yeah having that the more or less done uh, how, where is the power of your, of your champions, uh, how, how to proceed. So this is mostly about your gear. So most of my champs, they are wearing Perception or, or Relentless. Yeah, but most of them, they are in Perception. And Perception comes from uh, Faction Wars, right? So let's... Uh, yeah, let's talk about Faction Wars, because that, that's the main tip for today. So, uh, JSF, as, as I uh, remember, he reached almost uh, 700 stars already. Uh, we started at the same day, which is crazy. He, he, he mentioned that he already cleared five uh, factions totally. So far, I managed to clear only High Elves. I'm close to clearing uh, Barbarian Crypt. Yeah, and here you are getting a lot of uh, forge materials, uh, and also important thing is those glyphs. Okay, so w what's the challenge here, and how to improve your teams? Because you probably you'll be slowly building your champs, uh, having those uh, five-man uh, teams. So, for example, now I'm using like Armas. Yeah, he's OP here, but I've got four stars. 3-4 stars and Swain just decrease attack, right? So this is not super <laughs> uh, powerful team, but it's doing uh, its a job. Um, so now I'm facing as a next step the um, boss stage. So boss stage is a little bit challenging because most of those bosses they are doing pretty nasty thing like provokes, true fears, uh, some of them cannot be resisted even uh, some freezes right uh, but some of them they cannot they can be resisted those bosses are pretty fast also so how to um, counter them so the main tip for today will be just uh, go to your great hall and to area bonuses so here we got uh, in the recent uh, update for the game, we got this Faction Wars uh, at grade 1 mm, level, when you can um, improve your uh, overall stats for the Faction uh, Wars. Um, 
so after the discussion with uh, JSF, so uh, we're just chatting about this, so and we uh, agreed that uh, two most important things is uh, speed for your whole team, then resistance. So resistance will be just to deal with those uh, debuffs from bosses and maybe minions and speed to move faster. If you also need more help, then yeah, invest in accuracy. That, that will be the third uh, place here. Yeah, so that will that will be my uh, plan. So far, I haven't invested any uh, in the faction wars, but uh, I'm planning to do that. So yeah, let's do it now. Like 25 uh, silver medals. <laughs> yeah, so we got an additional two speed uh, now for all my all my teams. So this is affecting all faction groups, not only one. Heavy. So having this plus, you know, um, here for example resistance, let me also upgrade resistance here. Uh, additional resistance 8, uh, just add the resistances from your uh, affinity bonuses from classic arena. For example, resist uh, 15 here, so I got free uh, 20 free resistance already for all my team, which is huge, very huge. Uh, yeah, the, the arena, uh, from classic arena, they are per uh, affinity, right? So we need to do that uh, for each affinity separately, but that's fine. At some point you will reach uh, um, higher levels here also. Okay, so yeah, what's the problem now and how to approach this? So you need to farm those medals somewhere and the only place is Life Arena. Probably uh, some, some of guys, uh, players don't, don't like it because of how it works. Uh, yeah, because there is a lot of OP champions that it's hard to counter and this is grind, right? So far, what I'm I'm currently at almost uh, 1600 uh, points for Life Arena. Uh, so I'm currently at uh, Silver 2, yeah, Silver 2. So for each win, I'm getting 35 uh, Silver Crest. Crests. Mm -hmm. Yes, that, that's fine. Not bad, but uh, what's the problem? So the problem is uh, about the team <laughs> and probably most of the players that you are facing currently on a life arena, they are using Armands. Yeah, and this is like 100% for sure ban uh, for life arena. Uh, so yeah, this is also a case for, for myself. So I'm, I'm using their Ratalos, uh, Arbiter, Ancora, Armands and Hugo. And they are working pretty fine, but 99% of the time Armands is banned, which is yeah, not, not perfect. <laughs> but luckily I got another copy, which is very lucky on this account. So uh, this will help me for sure to just to do more progress. So my plan for the next uh, week or so is to slowly, because I don't want to spend too much resources on that, uh, to upgrade Armands to 6 star, give him masteries. And then also I'm planning uh, to build uh, Suzy. So Suzy in Kaiton. Uh, he's also a good, very good champ. Uh, his base attack is very high. Um, unfortunately both AoE skills, so A2 and A3, they are on 4 turn cooldown. But for Arena that's not a big deal, so probably you need to just use them once uh, at some point. Uh, he, he brings weaken and decrease uh, defense, uh, some buff uh, removals like shield, block damage, unkillable, also very useful. And also on A1 he brings decreased speed. I think he will be very useful uh, just to give him a try and uh, see uh, how he will proceed uh, perform in the life arena. Yeah, so then that's my plan. So, second Armands, uh, Suzy. So, here, uh, what will be my plan? Uh, how I will be composing my life arena? So, Ratalos, Armands, second Armands, Suzy. 
and 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 maybe Arbiter or Angola. Yeah, I'll need to figure out who will be uh, the the five one. Yeah, but but some revi revive or speed to meter uh, will be also good. Yeah, so that's the plan. Mm, okay, so how much uh, points generally those crests do you need? Uh, so worth to mention that uh, faction wars is uh, great one. Uh, by great one we mean it means uh, it costs less. So uh, starting from 25 at level uh, one, just in comparison to uh, grade two, it's 50, so it's double, right? Oh, um, during the challenge, I invest some po uh, points to the Demon Lord and Hydra. Uh, so this is grade three. So it's starting from 100 and ends at uh, 2000. So, which, so grade uh, three is the most expensive one. But uh, yeah, Demon Lord and Hydra they are also very important. Uh, yeah, so this this is in comparison to other areas. So great one is pretty cheap, the cheapest one. So just spend some uh, time farm life arena and get those uh, stats up. Then it will be much easier to finish uh, your fa uh, faction wars and maybe even get Lydia faster. Okay, so while I'm here, I think the next step after that it's it's worth. To invest also in some maybe resistance in Doom Tower because some of the bosses there they are also pretty nasty like Scarab uh, and others so they are placing also those debuffs uh, so for your maybe cheese tactics or, or full team tactics uh, it, it is also good to get some additional resistance and resist those uh, debuffs Okay, so that will be tip for today. Um, I will uh, be doing that for the next week or, or two <laughs> while I'm building uh, Armands and Susie. And yeah, I hope I will in the next episode sh uh, show how this fight looks like in the arena. Yeah, so please stay tuned and see you in the next one. Cheers!